the data sample D1 consists of 50 values randomly selected from a normal distribution which has a mean value of 7 and a standard deviation of 0.5. And we will use this data sample to illustrate the use of the one sample t-test and the one sample Wilcoxon test. Starting with the one sample t-test, we go to basic statistics, one sample t, and the options initially are that we have our sample data or that the, that the data is summarized, i.e. just having the mean value and standard deviation. But we have the raw data values in a single column, so we will leave it as the default. We will select D1 by either highlighting D1 and press select or just double clicking on D1. We wish to perform a hypothesis test and just as an example we will choose to compare the mean value of the sample with a target value of 7.2. Under options we can see that we could choose to test that the mean, that the sample mean is equal to the hypothesized mean, which we chose as 7.2, which would be a two-tailed test, or we could choose a one-tailed test, either that the sample mean is greater than or less than that value. But we will stick with the two-tailed test and click OK. And then we will run the analysis. The results appear in the session window and the analysis shows that there were 50 data values in the sample and the sample mean was 7.0262 which is very close to the population mean of 7 from which the data samples were derived. Similarly the standard deviation of 0.4946 is close to the population standard deviation of 0.5. The standard error of the mean is, calcul is calculated by taking the standard deviation and dividing by the square root of the number of measurements. So this will be the uh, 0.4946 divided by the square root of 50, giving a value of 0.07. It, the analysis also calculates the confidence interval for the mean value of the population from which the sample was derived, which gives a value from something like 6.89 to 7.17, which includes the true value of 7 for the known source population. In terms of comparing the sample with the target value of 7.2, it calculates a t-value and a p-value of 0.016. Since this p-value is less than 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis, which was that the sample values were derived from a source population with a mean of 7.2. And this is consistent with the fact that we know that they were drawn from a source population uh, with a true mean of 7.0. It was valid to use the t-test because we knew that the uh, data was derived from a normal population. But for the purposes of demonstration, we can also use the non-parametric one sample Wilcoxon test to test for differences in the median values. So using non-parametrics one sample Wilcoxon, we are testing for the variable D1. So double click on D1. We wish to compare the sample data with a test median and we will use the value of 7.2 again. And again we can choose it to be either a two-tailed not equal or a one-tailed less than or greater than test. But sticking with the two-tailed test we click OK. The results now give the Wilcoxon test statistic and a p-value of 0.020 
And this again says that we can reject the null hypothesis that the sample data was derived from a population which had a median value of 